and mighty name of Jesus Christ. Covenant keeping God. There is none like him in the matchless and mighty name of Jesus. Every, uh, every, every, every time we think about God, we need to think about him as one who is a covenant keeping Tell God. Tell somebody the name of Jesus. He is the covenant keeping God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It's higher than he heartbreak. Is... Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. And today, I want to talk about this covenant keeping God. He is a covenant keeping God. And, um, you know, God... When he keeps a promise, a covenant, you know, a covenant is like a promise. It's like, I am going to do this for you. And this is going to happen because I have said it. And God's word doesn't change. Once he has made his promise, he keeps it because of his holiness. He keeps it because of his holiness. And this is the covenant keeping God that I want you to know about. He is the God of the promise. He is the God who keeps a promise. Remember Abraham. In Genesis chapter 12, Genesis chapter 12, uh, verse 2, it says, I will make you into a great nation. I will bless you. I will make your name great. You will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you. And whoever curses you, I will curse. And all the people on the earth will be blessed through you. All the people on the earth will be blessed through you. Abraham was given a covenant promise by God. He said, you will become uh, a father of many nations. I'll make your name great. You see, he was told you will be made into a great nation. You'll be told you'll be a father of many nations. And, you see, 
Abraham stayed until he was about nine, about a hundred years old before uh, these things began to manifest. But finally, God gave him a child through his wife, Sarah, Isaac. In very difficult circumstances, but God, even though he, 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 he is never late, though he is not early, he is never late. He is never late. He is a God who keeps a covenant. And when he makes that promise, you need to believe it because he is a covenant keeping and making God. Are, we, are you hearing what you say? And, and, and in fact, what the Bible says, in, if you go to Romans chapter 4 verse 8, it says, Against all hope, against all hope, Abraham believed and he became a father of many nations. Just as, 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 as has been said of him, you, uh, so shall your offspring be. Now, even Israel, when God came to speak to Moses on the mountain, he said, I have heard the cry of my people who are in bondage in Egypt. And I have seen their, 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 their pain. And now I have come uh, uh, to, to, to deliver them. And I shall take them to the Canaan land. I will take them there. And that is the promise he made to, uh, to Moses. And now he told him, now therefore go and confront Pharaoh. Even though our, uh, Moses was, you know, even him himself was not believing it. He, he thought he was not capable. God sent him and God delivered Israel with mighty acts of judgment stayed in the wilderness for purification for 40 years and came to their land. He is a covenant of nations. Even with David, he said, you will be my shepherd. You, uh, you, you will be, you're the one I have appointed to be, my uh, to to be shepherd over my people Israel. And even though uh, Saul tried to kill him, how much, however much Saul tried to kill him, he still became the king of Israel. Now, let us individualize this thing. I told you he is a covenant keeping God. Covenant keeping God. There is a reason why there are people in, uh, in uh, Westgate. There are people who somehow they had a covenant with God of protection. And so, even though they were there, they were not attacked or anything. They had a covenant of protection with God. I remember when I was ministering in St. John's Community Center, I remember clearly that God gave me a protection, a protection by because that's a place where there were very many thieves. That's a place where there were very many bombs. And until today, I am under God, that God's covenant of protection. I believe it. Are we together? Now, there is protection from physical danger. There is protection from, um, from sicknesses and diseases. And he said in Psalm 91, this is a covenant for the children and uh, for, for the children of God. The covenant is this. He says, he who dwells under the shadow, under the shadow of the Most High. Listen, he who dwells under the sh shadow, he will be under his protection. Let's go, uh, let's go there. I want us to see it because this is important for you to, um, um, it is important for you to, uh, um, what is the word? Um, hallelujah, hallelujah. I take authority against all this in the matchless and mighty name of Jesus. Psalm 91. If we go there, I want to see you. I want to show you the covenant here. I want to show you the covenant. Hallelujah, hallelujah. It says here, he who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest. This is what God is saying. Will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. 
He says, he will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will find refuge. Hallelujah. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks at midnight. So he is covenant. Take his word. He has said it in his word. And God's covenant cannot be broken. God's promise cannot be broken. God's, um, how can I put it? God's word cannot be broken. Man's word can be broken because men are weak. Are we together? But God's word cannot be broken in the matchless and mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the matchless mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I want to pray as uh, we come to the end of this. Believe in God who is a covenant keeping and making God. Are we together? Believe in God who is a covenant making God. Yeah, yeah, he, 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 he will keep you under his wings. He's the God of the covenant. And now, as, uh, as, I, um, as, as I come to this end, remember this. Touch, uh, hold God, make him your covenant. Make, take the promise that he makes and make it your covenant. I remember years ago, years ago, as I come to an end, when I was jobless, God made a covenant with me. Even until, the, until this day, I keep this covenant. He said, and this is from uh, Matthew chapter 5, do not worry what you eat, what you drink, what you wear. Do not worry about it. Because I will take care of you. Seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and his righteousness and all these things will follow you. So, he told me not to worry because that time I was worried where I'm going to get my next meal. Meal, But God has made provisions for me until today. And in this time when everything is shut down, this time when jobs seem to be, uh, job losses are there, this time when uh, people are wondering what is going to happen next, believe in the covenant keeping God and he will be with you. In God, uh, in Jesus' name. And I want to pray for you. I see you there, Caroline. Je Caroline. I see you, uh, Irene, there. I want to pray for you and others who are listening and others who will listen later on in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to pray for you. Dear Lord, in the matchless and mighty name of Jesus, I commit your families and I commit you, Lord, to the covenant making and keeping God, the God who keeps his promises. I commit you to the God who protects. I commit you to the God who keeps you in the shadow of his wings. I commit you to him. Understanding him, Lord, in the name of Jesus, make covenant with them. Make covenant with those who, you, Lord, you desire to make in the much less and mighty name of Jesus. I pray, Father, that, uh, that uh, the blessings of God rest upon uh, those who are watching and those who will watch even later. I commit them into your hands. I pray over them in the matchless name of Jesus. And let the fire of God rest upon them to the glory of your holy name. And everybody said, Amen. And the blessings of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and dwell with you now and forever. Amen. And Amen. And Amen. And Amen. Amen. <laughs>